this week on Science Sundays. We've got a cool experiment for you to try at home, and I just passed my math class, so we're gonna blow some things up. Now, your mom always said never light a fire with hairspray, but we're gonna light a fire around the hairspray, and then we're gonna shoot it with our BB gun. So this is one of those things where I say, don't do this at home and I'm a trained professional. Now I've dealt with pyrotechnics and fireworks for many years, so I guess you could say I'm a professional, but not really. But still, don't try this at home in any way, shape, or form. You could end up seriously burning yourself or a piece of shrapnel in your thigh. So here I pretty much just set the canister in the sand and started a little fire with matches around it. We really didn't get the explosion that we wanted because I really wanted the uh, all the fire to get sucked in to, and just you know go kaboom. But it was really this cool like like jet fighter flame. But it was still pretty cool. But it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So at the end, I'm going to show you another trick that you can do with coffee creamer for the next experiment. All you really need is a candle, a plate, and a glass. You want to start this experiment by pouring just enough water to cover the bottom of the plate. Then, set a candle in the middle of the plate. It really doesn't matter, I used a long candle. Place a glass cup or glass jar over the candle. And voila, you created a vacuum. Here's the experiment from a different angle. Another cool trick I learned is that you can relight candles just by lighting the smoke on fire. Science. Boom, boom, boom. So the first part where I shot the hairspray canister and it caught on fire, that's caused by the aerosol inside the canister. Butane is in the canister which causes the flames, which also compresses a lot of the, the air or whatever product you're using, whether it's hairspray or Febreze or anything like that. The second experiment, which was with the candle, is a combination of two things. As it gets hotter inside of the glass, the air pressure compresses and creates much denser air pressure trying to get to the low pressure which is outside in our normal air. And then why the candle goes out is it's constantly burning always trying to suck up that oxygen. The water moving in and out has nothing to do with the oxygen levels, all it has to do with 
is the air pressure inside versus the air pressure outside the glass. Now I only could do a couple examples with the coffee creamer with what we had. There are different ways to do it and you could do it on a much larger scale sometimes, but I hope you enjoyed the little bits that I did. The explosion with the coffee creamer is caused by two things, the air to dust ratio and the air to fuel ratio. If you have as small particles as you can, you have a more likely chance to explode. You can do this with sawdust, with cornstarch, with coffee creamer like I did. You can do it with any number of things. That's why if you ever hear of stories back in the Middle Ages that the uh, sawmills used to not be able to operate at nighttime because the only lights they had were candles and end result was that some of the sawmills ended up combusting from the inside due to all the sawdust. Now I know this, this episode wasn't as science-y as usual, but I still hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun and I'm excited to be on summer and hang out with all my friends. There might be some guest appearances this summer, so keep an eye out for next episode. This is Professor Jarrett, signing off.